Okay, so I experimented first with trying to gild the little tree, and I did like the results. Although working with um, gold foil, gold uh, leaf is really difficult. It's not real gold leaf. Real gold leaf is even more difficult because it's that much thinner. Um, but I, I'm enjoying working with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of gold leaf uh, on this watercolor um, that I'm going to do. Um, the watercolor is pretty much for my imagination, but it's based on uh, the imagery that I saw walking around um, Croton and Tor side reservoir the other day. Right here I'm laying down some gold size uh, so that the gold leaf will s adhere to the watercolor paper and I'm just doing it sort of from memory of what the sun looked like on top of a mountain overlooking Torside Reservoir in the Pennines. I got this cheap watercolor set from Cass Arts in Manchester and it like all screws together. <laughs> But the uh, watercolors were perfectly fine, as far as I can tell. I'm no expert on watercolors. I still have to learn about all that to know what's better and what's not so good. But these worked fine for this. You'll see that I end up using my fingers for most of the stuff uh, that I'm painting. Right there, I'm making sure to uh, not get water onto the where it, the gold size is the aqua size was well, because it's already um it's not dry but it's like tacky you know it's 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 uh just right for laying the gold leaf down and that's what i'm gonna do right now so i'm i'm laying gold leaf down i i did the black first just so that i knew where roughly where the gold leaf was i guess but I wanted the gold leaf to look like the brilliant part of the sun, the most brilliant part. Looks like it's just a mess there, but it actually did it adhere roughly, well, exactly actually where I wanted it to. Now I'm just getting rid of the little bits that shouldn't be there or that I don't want there. But that main splotch of gold leaf is roughly what I wanted, what I was looking for. So it worked. I need to watch a watercolor sort of, I haven't really watched almost any watercolor videos on YouTube, tutorials or whatever. And I could do with watching like an entire course on watercolor because I really don't know anything about it. I mean, to me, watercolor just seems so rudimentary and and basic and straightforward that it's I guess I haven't even really <laughs> thought that much about watching watercolor videos but it has crossed my mind so I'm going to do it because I do really like watercolor and I wish that there were a way to um, use oil paint like watercolor in other words you know dilute the oil paint with some kind of solvent so much that it could be used and get the look of watercolor because I do love the effect of watercolor I don't like the limitations of watercolor because, you know, the converse of its fluidity is that it, it doesn't have any kind of solidity, so it can't it can't mimic uh, oil paint at all, really. I don't think. I have gotten oil paint to look like watercolor using um, using mineral spirits but that's what gave me the problem the, for the the sensitivity that I now have to mineral spirits because I used a ton of mineral spirits to water down oil paint to the point where it was just like a thin wash on a painting actually it was for the Poppy and Monty painting that I did um, and I did it up for the sky in the background and the sky did look really good you you know if if you can tolerate uh, mineral spirits or I guess turpentine or whatever, you can water down oil paint so that it's a wash and it looks like rough really close actually to uh, watercolor but 
that's what gave me the first breakout from dermatitis from mineral spirits. <laughs> so I can't go. And then, and then the second time it was even worse, and that was from varnishing. The varnishing I did in a video called uh, How I Varnish My Paintings, I think just a few months ago. Um, seems a long time ago, but it wasn't. But I can't go near that stuff anymore. There, you can see basically <laughs> my skill level at watercoloring right there. Uh, I think there's probably going to be watercolors if they, any watercolors see this watercolorists see this video they're just going to be like whoa this guy does not know what he's doing with watercolor <laughs> but I don't care because I, I get results that I like you'll see at the end of this I, I actually do like the result a lot of this painting I, th this painting really worked for me it's not flawless but it's definitely worked for me but but I was doing it from memory um, actually, you know what? I'm doing it from, I'm doing it from memory from seeing it with my own eyes, but also just seeing it through, um, the iPhone camera that I was filming the sun over Torside Reservoir for the video I did just a few days ago of me and Keith Williamson walking around Crowden with Poppy and Monty, his Karen Terriers. And I remembered the sun just looked so beautiful and brilliant above, high above a, uh, a yeah, a mountain, a small mountain on the other side of Torreside Reservoir. See there, I'm painting in the blue for Torreside Reservoir, and I was trying to remember what color it was, you know? But I couldn't really remember, so I just did the default blue, because, you know, didn't really feel like messing around trying to figure it out. I did the green actually first, thinking that might represent the water well, but it didn't. It just kind of represented uh, land. So it kind of just came out looking like the banks on the other side of the reservoir. Those scratches above the sun, I wasn't really comfortable with. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with them now, but. I don't think they detract from it either, so, and they give it a kind of, I don't know, rusticity, I guess, <laughs> but it doesn't look, they don't look bad, whatever. And there's also this kind of black scratches right below the sun too, but those actually kind of lend themselves to it. So I've still got a lot of practicing to do with watercolors, but I think that it turned out beautifully, so I'm really happy with it.